got sand in my eyes. The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Oh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Hoodle, don't get blown away, okay? The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahogsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Heros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible. But I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the Lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind. But I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the Gold Dust Cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. Oh? Yes! 
Very nice. Is that so? You don't say. How? I see. Hey! Nice work. Oh? Very nice. Well? Don't believe this! All right? No. Sure. Really now? What? Yes! <laughs> well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but... Frankly, they're starting to stink. <laughs> now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing, having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course, my apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. 
That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? with this. are even worse outside the city than they are inside. Ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. it's all ruined. I it's won't time. forgive you! Right it over! Here it comes! Field. Rising Wyvern! Pick it! It's over! Rising Spirit! Airborne feet! In a blind fence! Rising Wyvern! Pick up flyers! I've got this! Now! Let them mark! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in that game! Yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! Where are you going? We're in hell and hurricane! Glimmer right Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! This could be useful. Your friends, Hoodle? Help! 
take advantage of all of these ruins around here. It seems like a missed opportunity. Most likely because it would be inefficient for harvesting astral energy. That's what dictates the current positions of each realm's capital. Plus, Renans are averse to using anything that belonged to the Danans. I think I'm getting stronger. Oh yeah? Think you could beat me at arm wrestling? What if I'm... No choice! Heavens must be smiling. Find weapon material when I see it.
Imagining things, or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogle, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Did you see? Sure did. You were checking out Kisara from behind. Wonder just how many people have been saved by Xion in some form. I'm impressed. There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. The vision of beauty? That's a bit much. Alfin had better stay on his toes. Where do I come into this? Finally. Well, what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Ridwell's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. We should be able to cook here.
Is there a reason you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. It's not often Shion's that impressed. You wear a lot of rings too, don't you? They were a gift. Purchased rather cheaply, or so I was told. What's your definition of cheap, exactly? I believe it was around 100 to 200,000 gold. What?! If my wolf head cost 10 gold, then that'd mean... Holy crap! They cost a thousand times more?! 10,000 times more! If he sold those things off, I bet he could build a damn mansion with them. At the very least, he'd never go hungry the rest of his life. You're all beginning to sound alarmingly interested in my rings. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Dohalim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Danon's slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them. They nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. Little late for that.
This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara, and he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone too, just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah, more than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh, I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom! Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Of course they do! If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. Good night. I want to go back to bed. What's this thing? Knowing when we're in too deep is necessary to survive. We may tend to push ourselves a little too hard. Too, right? Wouldn't it be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. <laughs> All right. Anybody could reel in that. That went pretty well.
There's a nice breeze here. Wouldn't it be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. <laughs> All right! per se. Nice work! There's a nice breeze here. What's with that shining foe over there? We're in good form! Mahogsar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara, what is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. Hi, Hoodle! The 
You're a throb. Water, here this one's mine. Seal confiscated. Hell Hell is is take this. Get toasty! Burn strike! Right, next Anything one! Rising Wyvern! Already on! Come and face me! Now. You picked Here. the wrong fight! Swallow it! Rising Wyvern! Serving the Now! Strike! Prepare to be seen, though. Actually, that's that was more appropriate. Let's talk in more doing! Dragon Shell! Sonic Thrust! Man, that's Blast! Gusty Nail! Dark Take this! By the power of water! Eagle Assault! <sighs> Looks like we won. Crazy I can carve through armor! Victor, do it! 
Got us on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. I sense a strange power from this. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. Who, 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 who. who, who. who. Hoo hoo hoo! Hoo! Maybe something's going on in the forest. The vermilion vegetation certainly gives this realm a distinct, if somber, ambiance. Seems like there's lots of fruit and plants that we can eat. I also can't help but notice the ceaseless howling of the wind. It should be easy to dry our laundry out here. I can't tell if these two are actually having a conversation or what. Looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. What's wrong, Law? Why do I gotta have a vitamin smoothie? Because you've been eating nothing but meat lately. Your body needs vegetables to stay healthy. Yeah, but does it have to be so concentrated? It's better that way. Even if you hate vegetables, all you have to do is drink it. It's a quick and easy way to get more nutrients. Like you're one to talk, you'll have anything as long as it's spicy. Which that vitamin smoothie isn't. I know its taste leaves a little to be desired, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. This sludge isn't gonna make me less hungry. I don't know. If you downed ten of them, I bet you'd start feeling pretty full. Are you trying to turn me into an herbivore or something? If I were you, Law, I'd drink it down sooner rather than later. It's going to start tasting bitter if you let it get warm. It's already bitter when it's cold! Come on, Law. It's good for you. Quit complaining and drink it already. Make sure to get some good rest. Senses something.
Looks like we got another reward. I didn't realize that so many still remained. Dan and Owls truly are majestic indeed. I thought the Dan and Owls had all but died out myself. That's what I get for making assumptions. Just so we're clear, this place is supposed to be a secret. Yes, I'm aware. Places like these should be kept out of the public eye. It's a pity, though. With proper training, they could be made into a magnificent chorus. <laughs> What are they hooting about now? Alfin and Xion can interpret for us, right? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, it was just a lucky guess last time. Yeah? Maybe you'll be lucky twice. Go on, give it a shot. Uh, really? Well, if you say so. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's see. Listen to them. Are they really up to the task? <sighs> What do you mean? You're the one who put them in charge. <laughs> it's my responsibility to protect our friends. Stop trying to take everything upon yourself. This is what the owls are saying? Of, of course. course. Uh... I must say, though, we've found quite a number of owls. It's a testament to how much you care for Hoodle, Rinwell. Hmm. I wonder which branch Hoodle will perch on. Rinwell? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Well, come on. The perches are only half filled. We've got to find the rest of the owls. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Did you see? Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part! Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. Look who's in a bright and shiny mood.
That astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. Let's refrain from losing. You guys want to rest here? feel all bent out of shape. I know what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We have to capture this lord ourselves no matter what. Good. This came out just the way I hoped. I'll see you again tomorrow. I think we've rested long enough. 
Let's keep moving. <laughs>